Hey, good morning. This is Anthony from 39 Below, a channel dedicated to picking, hustling, finding items priced at $39 and below, only to be sold at a higher dollar amount. Resellers, welcome. E-commerce folks, business people, all the likes. Welcome, welcome. Doing a review on a Elite member um, eBay store. His name is Vic. Vic Brewster out there. What up, man? How you doing? We got to set up a one-on-one. -on -one. I want to talk to you on the phone um, about the email you sent me. don't want to um, put anything over the the forum and, and such, but uh, I want to chat with you, let you get a look at our stores and all of our good stuff, and uh, take again a look at your stuff. You got some good stuff on your uh, at your eBay store. I want to know where you're sourcing because we got to get that out there, man. You got some pretty cool stuff, but um, did a review at his store. Store was pretty squared away. Had a couple of things that I I put in as input for him. Um, you know, he seems like a smart guy, so he can take it and, you know, use some of it or just keep on track of what he's doing. But um, one of the things I looked at was uh, the way he lists. I'm going to have a post up um, on that uh, blogging about it and a video, a vlog as well, about the listing, how people are putting their their, their uh, descriptions down. The first thing that, that we do, a process that we have here at 39 Below is is we use name brand first, second is gender, next is size, and then we get into the specific details of it. For instance, if it's a shirt, if this was a, this is a polo shirt, so uh, it would be Ralph Lauren polo, men's large, and then if it had pearl snaps, long sleeve shirt, um, if, it, if it's a corduroy, 100% cotton, is it silk, is it cashmere, whatever, whatever it is, then you get into those little minutia details after. But we do that because we found through our studies that when people search, that's how they search first. They put the brand that they're looking for. Is it Bose? Is it um, PlayStation 4? Is it, is it a polo shirt? Uh, a lot. Most of the time people don't just put men's shirts because there's just billions. So they get kind of specific and they don't get too specific into the minutia of it until down down the road of their of their search terms so it's name brand gender size and then specific details um so asked vince to go or vince victor sorry to go ahead and do that secondly uh second thing he had he had a um a ducati polo shirt awesome shirt but how he phrase it he put like size instead of writing the word size he put sz instead of large he put l slash g men slash boys um you know, you know, again, as I always say, write out the word size, S-I-Z-E. You know, I know that area there, you only have so many letters that you can put in, but try to focus on the simple key terms that your buyers are going to go ahead and use. Um, second thing, he only had two photos on that. They give you 12 free, man. Just get, zoom in, zoom out, snap around, snap. Just, just snap them. Again, as I always say, give the buyer a second, third, and fourth dimension. Let them feel. Let them feel like their picture. They can actually smell the fabric. They can feel, as you can see, as I zoom in here on it. That's that's better than me just sitting back here and saying, "Hey, I got a brown shirt." Did you did you get the feel of of of, of the material? It's sort of a corduroy ribbed shirt. Uh, yeah, I know the jokes are coming on that one, but <laughs> but uh, you know, give them more than just two pictures, please. Um, and I went into the abbreviated things. We're not police officers. We're not giving ten four, ten nine, ten twenty, whatever it is, uh, uh, location and all this kind of stuff. We're not cops. We're not people that are in the service. Vets out there that are doing this, I get it. You're so you know adjusted to those kind of terms, but you have to use simpleton layman terms because our buyers are on the go. They're mobile. They want simple words. Um, trifecta for success. Uh, I said to him, he, it's not being fully used, um, which is returns accepted, free shipping, and the seller pays the shipping. Um, he has it in some, and he doesn't have it in others, so I referred him to go ahead and read the chapter in the book um, about the trifecta for success. If you don't have the book yet, I'll put the link below. Buy our book. Get it. It's a short read. It's like a peanut. Boom. Fills you right up. Um, lastly, I said pricing. Are your items priced fair, meaning not cheap but not too high? Uh, and I also told him that we sell some of the same items you sell and we price a bit lower. If your STR, which is your sell-through rate, is good, keep on going. And, you know, uh, backtrack, the STR, the sell-through rate, is how many sales you are making per the amount that you go ahead and list. Um, so we call it CTR, click-through rate, but we call you know, it's STR. Um, 
you know, pricing, we, we don't, you don't want to be the lowest because you can look too cheap or someone who just wants to make the money. I'm, I need it. I need it. You know, uh, you don't want to have it too high. It's sort of like dating. You don't want to seem like you're desperate as hell, but you don't want to seem like you're too high class where no one's even going to, going to go ahead and approach you. Everyone has a value for the market price. eBay especially, it's an e-commerce world with, in itself. The pricing is different. So if you feel that polo shirt, man, you know, you're like, damn, I went to the store and that polo shirt is 70 bucks. Why is it 12 bucks? here because it's an e-commerce world by itself. Supply and demand is it's different. Um, it's different on Amazon, different on eBay. And I know that they try to keep them similar, but it's just a different world of pricing. So price your items to the world of pricing that you're selling your items in. If you're a website, if you're competing with other resellers separately, if your e-commerce site is separate and it's not on you know, uh, one of these sites, hey, price your items again accordingly to what the market is dictating you should. So anyway, um, Vic, for watching this, put your eBay store below. Let these viewers check it out. It's a kick-ass store. Awesome. Great job. And I did a motivation rant video, so um, just put it up. It pisses me off when you guys are not motivated. It doesn't piss me off to where I hate you. It pisses, pisses me off to where it disappoints me. It, it uh, hurts a bit because, you know, you have to stay. You have to find out things that keep you pumped up, that keep you going. Because um, everything you do in life from here on out is sales. Everything is sales. Everything is staying on top of your game and keep on pushing through. So whatever that that is for you, um, do it. So visit us at 39-below.com. That's www.39-below.com. Send me an email, anthony39below.com, and I will do... Sorry, Anthony39below at gmail.com, and I will do a store review for you. Take care.